Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the video. So today we are back with some more Dual Universe. And so this is going to be episode 1 in a new tutorial series that I'll be uh, creating um, called Dual Universe Lua Scripting Tutorials. And so I know the name is a little bit long and um, yeah, I don't, I couldn't really get a better name for it. But um, yeah, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the basics of getting started in and in programming something with Lua in Dual Universe. So, but uh, specifically for this uh, video, we're gonna be uh, making this door open and close with this button. Now, um, by default, you can do this by directly linking this button to the door, um, but that is just too easy, um, and um, that is why we're gonna uh, actually uh, program the button uh, to tell the door to open and close with this um, uh, programming board. Now, uh, if you guys don't know how to craft the programming board, uh, that is one of the things that you need uh, is a programming board. Um, and so when you come over here to crafting and you just search uh, programming and this one, um, now uh, I don't know if there's like different versions, but uh, this is what you need to craft the programming board. This took me about like 10 minutes to craft. Uh, so it does take a little bit uh, to craft, but if you already have the resources, it won't take you that long. Um, but um, yeah, so once you have this, um, um, you should be all good to go. And so the other thing I also got is a button. So I accidentally crafted the, the extra small button instead of the... The normal big one um, so this is what the, the button needs uh, to be crafted and so after you've done that uh, all you need to do is just place them down on your wall uh, and so if you don't know how to place it down if you go over come over here uh, if you come into build mode and you press B or you press B to come into build mode and you click one for the deploy element tool all you need to do is you just drag the specific thing in here and then all you then do is to place it is hold left click. Now obviously we, I already have one here. Um, um, so after you've done that and you have your door, um, you should be good to go. So with that said, uh, let's get to it. So uh, the first thing you need to do is right, uh, press F on your programming board so it activates. And so the next thing that you need to do is come over here to advanced and you want to go to edit Lua script. And so over here, as you can see, I already have my door and button. And now, if you don't know how to link uh, your stuff together, it's the same. Uh, I think it's number six. Uh, all you need to do is you just hold left click and drag to the individual things. Now, by default, they won't have a name um, like it is here. Um, like, all you do is then after, it should be slot one and slot two. So I would say like, First link the button, insist, and then come to this thing, name it a uh, button, and then you link the door and then you name a door. Um, now this could be anything, I don't know exactly what's the, uh, how, what's the maximum length of the name. Uh, but after you've done that, uh, as you guys can see I have the button and door, so we're going to click on the button and over here you guys will see it says plus add filter. So I'm going to click on this one once. So over here we're gonna go down to pressed and now um, the way you open and close the door is pretty easy so I'm gonna add a release also oh wait, uh, go here make this pressed and so the first one is gonna be door dot activate uh, just like so so we're gonna click apply uh, wait uh, my bad we need to do the release first and so this one is also going to be door dot deactivate like so and so after that we can now uh, press apply and now one thing you need to do is you do need to turn this on and off for the thing to recompile the code and so after you've done that, if we click here now, like if you hold it, you have to hold it in because we don't, we haven't set it up to toggle yet. So if, as long as you hold it in, uh, the door will stay open. If you leave it, it will close. 
And so now, if you want to make this to be toggled, so you click it once, and then once you click it again, it will then only then close. So the next thing we need to do is come over here to advanced, edit Lua script. We're going to come over here, and we're going to click on released. And now we're going to delete um, uh, the released one, and we can only do um, the code in pressed. And so you could delete this. And now the first thing it will do is uh, make an if statement. We're going to say if door dot get state equals zero, then um, so I'm going to finish this. I'll show you uh, how this works. So we're going to then say else if door dot get state equals one then do whatever is down here so the first one is basically checking if the door is closed now if it is closed then it should run whatever is here and when it's if it's open it needs to it will run this so if it if, so the first thing that's basically our if they if if statement works so if you you're gonna go from it's gonna say if it's gonna check is the door open um if it's not uh, then open the door if it is open uh it's gonna uh, bypass this and it's gonna go to this else if uh, and it's gonna check if if the door is open then it needs to close it and so on and so on so what we're going to do here is just type in the same as we did before door dot activate like so now i'm also going to add a a second thing just for debug so you want to go uh, system dot dot print so this is to say like a message that will show up in the console uh, to actually tell us that this did run in um, so here I'm just gonna say opening uh, uh, or oh, door is opening wait eh, opening like so and then we're gonna basically copy this bottom one paste it in here and so on top of it we're gonna say door dot d activate like so and now that is about it so all you need to do is now oh obviously change this door is closing and then we can just click apply and then what we need to do is deactivate this and reactivate it so it recompiles the code and then we can come over here and click activate and as you can see it opens the door and there on the left you guys will see it says door is opening and if I click it again it says door is closing and so uh, that's about it it's pretty easy uh, to like make a door uh, like open and close with a button like this and so um, yeah that's about it I wanted to show you guys in this video now uh, what you can do is let's we can quickly do this so uh, let's quickly open the door and now I have a second button so let's quickly open the build tool and now if I go to deploy um, well shit uh, okay let me quickly uh, if I go to uh, this one and I am just gonna cut out like a little piece here oh shit I accidentally uh, broke too much of the wall like so and now uh, let me just place this button here like so and then we can um, go to the link tool 
and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this third button or the second button and so now that we did that we can quickly come over here and just close the door and now if I go come over here to advanced again edit Lua script as you guys can see we have a sort free now and now all we need to do is um, name this button 2 and then all we basically do is we can just copy this uh, just control C and then come over here add a filter make this pressed and we can just paste this in it didn't actually copy um, I think right click please copy okay, let's just type this in again so we're gonna do basically the same Yeah, I'm just going to quickly um, do this quickly you guys can also do this uh, obviously you guys already know um, how to do it so I'm not gonna <laughs> oh well obviously you guys are seeing um, what I'm doing but, uh, but you guys can quickly uh, do this um, at the same time I'm doing mine um, so we're gonna say door dot activate and then we're also gonna do a system dot print I'm gonna quickly come over here I'm gonna see if I can copy this okay I guess so. I don't know why it's. Uh, I think it's kind of funky. Anyways, I'm gonna leave that as is. So I'm gonna quickly go back here. Just copy this. Like so. And there you guys go. So this. So the first button um, should be the same as the second one. Like so basically going to do the same thing but it's uh, it's like it's for when we're outside you can still open the door uh, using the button so all we need to do is click apply and then we need to deactivate it and then reactivate uh, the programming board and now if we open the door and we go out and when you click on this one it will also close the door and now as you guys can also see, it doesn't matter which button you use, um, it still goes and gets the state, the current state of the door. Now that get state uh, returns a 1 or a 0. So 0 means um, it's closed and 1 means it's open. Um, so when I open this, as you guys can see there, it opened. I actually forgot this is a toggle button and not actually <laughs> the other one so when I click this one it should close uh, the door again and so yeah uh, I think that's gonna do it uh, for this video guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, this is my first time also playing around with Lua so um, if you guys have any uh, comments uh, put them down in the video description or uh, not description so <laughs> If you guys have any questions or uh, for me, uh, put them down in the comments below. And um, yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. And also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one.